Hey there, fresh people. Now, I know, it seems like the world is just full of doom and gloom. And even when you go to the toilet, all you hear is boom, boom, boom. And it feels like there isn't much room even to joke around before someone hits you with a boom. But we're going to make a world a better place by making vegetarian carbonara with spicy mushrooms. Excited? Let's go. Right, first we'll magically cut up 250 grams of mushrooms. Then we're going to do something untraditional and make a spice mix for our carbonara. So to that, we're going to add white pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, paprika, and a pinch of salt. Pink and Himalayan, of course. Whisk in everything until it's well incorporated, and then put your spice mix aside and put in another bowl. To that, we're going to add some chicken stock, two tablespoons of vinegar, and one tablespoon of sugar. Then we're going to give this a wonderful little mix, and then we'll find out later what we use that for. Next, in a set two separate bowls, we're going to separate the yolk from an egg. Break the egg, put the egg whites in one bowl, and the egg yolk in another. Then to that, we're going to add some parmesan and give that a little whisk. We're going to whisk it in until you get like a dough-like consistency, which will be used to emulsify our carbonara sauce. In a heavily salted boiling water, add in your linguine and cook it two minutes less than the packet instructions. Now for the main action. In a hot pan, add about 50 grams of butter, tablespoon of olive oil, and just mix in everything until the butter and the olive oil are well incorporated together. To that, we're going to add our lovely chopped mushrooms. And we're just going to give everything a stir until they're all mixed in. It's going to take a while, but once all the butter and olive oil is absorbed, you see the mushrooms will release their own juices. So once they start releasing their juices and they look something like that, you're going to add half of the spice mix that we created earlier. And then we're just going to stir all of that in. But I may warn you, the smell of this is amazing. And you can eat this just by itself. I don't even know why we're making the pasta. But I digress. So we're going to add our chicken stock for the most wonderful, sweet, salty, chickeny taste to our mushrooms. It's going to give our mushrooms such depth and body. It'll be amazing. We're going to stir in our mushrooms and wait for all those wonderful juices to be absorbed by it. So once all the juices have been absorbed, our mushrooms ready. Next, we're going to get a cup of pasta water, shout out to Dragon's Fury at Chesington, and store it for later. We're going to add our linguine in directly from the pasta water. That will allow the emulsification, however you say, emulsification, emulsification process to happen. So all the fats, all the spices will get mixed in and incorporated with the pasta. We can add a little bit of pasta water into it to make things a bit more creamy. Then we're just going to give it a stir, stir, stir. And then our pasta is almost ready. So we're going to give it a quick little stir and then we're going to wait until the pasta cools down because we're going to add our parmesan and egg yolk mixture. If you add it when it's too hot, it's going to become like scrambled eggs and we don't want that. So once it's cooled down, add in your egg yolk and parmesan mixture, slowly add the pasta water in and you'll see things start to become creamy. A natural creamy rich sauce is created and you don't need to add any of that fake shop bought cream from whichever shop you buy but yeah there we go our vegetarian carbonara with spicy mushroom is ready add a dash of dried parsley tuck it in from the sides with a fork and voila now you can serve your vegetarian carbonara on a plate have it with a date or even give it to someone you hate eat it eat it Boris Eat it. Nyam, 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 nyam. But regardless, I am absolutely sure you're going to love my vegetarian carbonara with spicy mushroom. Until next time, peace. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.